everyone and welcome to today's video where we will look at how you can participate in the NNS DAO by voting. In the last two videos you already learned how you can get ICP in your NNS DAP wallet and how you can stake them into a neuron. And today we want to see what you can do with this neuron, namely vote on proposals. So I already have two neurons here. For one neuron, the principal that is currently logged in only has hotkey privileges. This means that I can vote and set following, but that the full control is with another principal. And I also have created a new neuron uh, just yesterday. So because this neuron was just created yesterday, I expect there will be very few proposals where I can vote on because if a proposal was uh, created before this neuron was created, I will not be eligible. If you recall how it works is if a proposal is submitted at the time of the submission, there is a snapshot being taken by the governance and all the neurons that are eligible at this moment will be able to vote on the proposal. So therefore, because this neuron is very, very new, I expect there will be almost no proposals that were created after the neuron and therefore uh, where this neuron can vote. All right, so what do we do for voting? You can already see uh, by this number that there's something for me to do here. So let's go to this voting tab. And on top uh, where we end up immediately are the actionable proposals. So here we can actually not only find the NNS proposals where I can vote on, but the proposals of all the DAOs. So all of these uh, DAOs where I'm a participant in. So to make it a bit easier, I only have neurons with this principle in the NNS DAO. What we can do is we can click on any of those actionable proposals, look at it, make a decision, and then we can, for example, navigate to the next one, also make a decision, etc. So let's maybe go back because this is a good example. And let's look at this proposal where I can now vote on. So as the title says here, this proposal is about updating some subnet configurations. You can find all the high level uh, data about this proposal here. For example, who created the proposal, who is the proposer, and you can then find a summary and the details of the proposal here. Today, we will not go into the details of this proposal as we will have separate videos explaining for the proposal topics, how you can kind of in-depth review them and verify them. Today, we're more interested on the high level. So let's focus on this information that is here on top. So as expected, you can see that I can vote with one neuron, the neuron that I've had for a while. And the front end also tells me that there is one neuron that's ineligible for this proposal. As we said, uh, the dissolve delay uh, was either too little when the proposal was created or what's more likely in my case that the neuron hasn't even existed. What you can also see is the current result. So what's ongoing with this proposal, you can see that currently there is a little bit more than 2% of the overall voting power that voted yes for this proposal and not even 1% uh, that voted to reject the proposal. You can also see how much longer you can vote on this proposal. So currently two days and nine hours. And you can see this additional information that there are two dots here. So let's look at what these two dots means. So how can a proposal be adopted? For a proposal to be adopted, three things uh, need to be the case. So first, the voting period is up. So these two days and nine hours um, are up. And then at this point, there are more yes votes than no votes. And as a third condition, at least 3% of the total voting power needed to vote in favor of the proposal. So this is what is indicated here by this orange dot. So basically we want the green line to go at least over the orange dot. And the reason for that is um, that we make, like to make sure that there is at least some participation for a proposal. So if there's a proposal where really no one votes, then this should also probably not be adopted because uh, there's little interest. And now there's uh, an exception to the rule that I just said, where, which is the condition when a proposal is adopted in the end of the voting period. 
In addition, we say that at any point uh, during the proposal, if there are more yes votes than no votes, so basically the green bar goes over the middle here, over this purple dot, then the proposal will be executed immediately. Why is this the case? Because if more than half of the voting power voted yes, there is no way that the result can be turned. So it's very clearly a yes decision and there's basically no point in waiting. Therefore, the proposal will be adopted immediately. So let's now vote on the proposal. I have actually already looked at it uh, and I like the proposal. So I will vote to adopt this proposal. If I would have multiple neurons, uh, I, I could also just select a few of them to vote. But usually I want to vote with all of them and I want to vote with all of them in the same way. Here I have now the information how much voting power I have for this proposal and I can say yes that I'm sure. And you can see that my vote is being processed. And I can now also see that I voted yes with the one uh, neuron where I had, uh, where I was eligible to vote here. Great, so now we can go to the next proposal. So this is also an interesting proposal because as you can see here on top, this proposal has already been executed. So why can I still vote for it? The reason for that is that this proposal was executed early because um, this um, immediate majority decision was reached that we have just discussed. But now we still want to make sure that I, because I came in later maybe, that I can still vote because I want to still get my voting power. So therefore, because the voting period is still open for three days and 24 hours, everyone that hasn't voted yet but is eligible to vote still has so much time to actually vote on the proposal even though the actual decision and effect of the proposal already happened. So let me do exactly that. Let me um, adopt this proposal. Now you can see that the voting power is different. And this is for the reason for that is actually because this is now the new neuron that I created just yesterday. And this proposal was created after it. So this, I'm now voting here with my other neuron. And uh, this is confirmed by the fact that my older neuron was already, already voted on that. All right, so now I have also voted here. And um, let's leave uh, the last proposal open for now and just go to the overview here. So by default, I will also end up here on the actionable proposals, but I can also now look at all the proposals of the NNS governance. And I can also filter them either by topic or by proposal status. Let's first look at the status. So a proposal is open um, if the decision hasn't been reached yet. It is rejected um, if a decision has been reached and the pro proposal was rejected. And it is adopted if a proposal has been reached and, uh, as we have discussed before, um, the majority was in favor or the majority was in favor and at least 3% voted and the end has been reached. Now, interestingly, you will probably rarely see a proposal in this status because if a proposal is adopted, it is also immediately executed on chain. Therefore, I expect that most proposals that you see are in this status for a very short period of time because immediately the governance will uh, try to execute them and if this is successful, they will immediately switch to the executed status. And if the execution failed for some reason, for example, because the proposal payload was not valid, then uh, it would be in a failed status. So for now, I guess I want to see all of them. So let's just select all of them, which doesn't have much effect. Uh, but now we can also filter by topics. I guess we don't have to go through all of the topics and I just want to select governance, uh, which seems to have been already selected and let's filter by them. I now actually see that there's, there's also an open proposal. You can see the proposal is still open for voting, but I didn't see that in the actionable proposals because my one eligible neuron already voted. All right, and now what you can also do if maybe you want to find more information about the proposal that you cannot see here, you can, for example, copy here the proposal ID and go on the dashboard. 
and by pressing here the search bar and entering um, this number, the dashboard would ask you, what do you mean? Do you want a proposal with this number or the transaction? And uh, we select the proposal. So now we can also see this open uh, proposal here. And one thing that I wanted to show you is that here you can also see if the known neurons have already voted, which is currently not the case for this proposal. So the known neurons are the neurons that are registered in governance with a name so that they can be followed by others. And I think the other interesting thing is also this voting history graph here. So here you can see a little bit how the proposal evolved over time. And based on this, I now also want to explain to you one last um, piece of information, which is the wait for quiet algorithm. So uh, we have seen that the proposal that we looked at previously was open for something like two days more. And you can also see here that the total uh, voting period is four days. But this is not always the case. Um, so what Wait for Quiet does is if a proposal is very controversial and the result switches from a yes to a no all the time, then this voting period will be increased to up to eight days. And I already looked for a proposal where this is visible better. So this is an old motion proposal, but I think here you can really see well how Wait for Quiet works. So you can see in the beginning, uh, there were apparently more yes than no votes, but the, here at point one, this changed. So when the result was flipped, a little bit more voting period was added here um, in the end. And then again, after two days, the result flipped from a no to a yes, and a little bit more voting time was added to the voting period. The idea being that uh, apparently people don't agree, we should make sure everyone can cast their vote and increase the time a little bit to give them time to do so. This happened once again here, uh, indicated by the three, but afterwards you see uh, there was a clear no tendency and no more voting period was added. So for this proposal, this meant that in the end, the voting period was five days and this could be increased up to eight days. All right, with this, let's go back to the NNS step. I think we discussed all the interesting things for the moment. And I hope many of you will go here, see where you still have an actionable proposal and vote on it. I wish you a lot of fun with that. Thank you for your attention.